World, we gotta talk. We got to talk. Okay, listen, um, this thing, I did not put that on my shirt, okay? I just wanna give y'all that disclaimer that that was not me. But first off, hey world, what's good world? What's good world, what's good world? Hey, hey, how you feeling world? How you feeling world? How you feeling world? Hey, hey, listen, um, y'all, we gotta talk. We really gotta talk. We gonna talk while I grab on some, uh, cookout okay this is not a sponsored video but cookout if you would like to sponsor me um let's talk let's do business okay we gotta talk let me Ooh. that bless my spirit okay y'all so let's get into the tray real quick okay your girl got ignore the hush puppy <laughs> but your girl got two chicken quesadillas with onion rings and hush puppies i didn't really want the onion rings but i ordered them because um I just didn't want no fries, and truthfully, y'all, I didn't really want no uh, cookout, but your girl had to do what she had to do, and she had a ball on the budget. Amen. Let me pray. Okay. Mmm. That on your ring really blessed me. Listen, cookout when it's hot and fresh will bless your life. Okay. I know y'all, your girl missed another week. I promise y'all, listen, I'ma get it together. I really am. It has just been a, a lot going on, okay? But listen, your girl got a planner, y'all. I got a planner, so it's about to be on and popping. I truly don't know who was on, you know, chef duty tonight, but whoever you are, Mr. Sir, Miss Ma'am, you're doing it right, amen. I never had a chicken quesadilla this good. Not from no cookout. Mm -mm. So let's talk. Cause I got some things I want to talk to y'all about. So what I want to talk to y'all about is self-care. Okay, cause that's what I've been really going through, what I've been dealing with. And I feel like, you know, I've just like this past week, y'all, I have been learning so much about self-care. And I just want to like share some of the things that I've been learning. And hopefully it helps some of y'all out. Okay, so I know that self-care to so many people have so many different meanings. Um, but to me, Self-care means solitude, taking time out for yourself, saying no, giving your mental a break, prioritizing yourself, like loving yourself, giving back to you, giving yourself the attention that you deserve. Because y'all listen, self-care goes beyond the face mask, okay? The face masks are cool, I love them. Face masks are a part of my self-care routine. However, self-care goes beyond the surface of just physical it's about catering to you so if you're a person like me me i'm a person who loves everybody i love to give to everybody I love to help everybody be there for everybody but what i'm learning in this season of my life is like zamir you can't always do that and there will be times where i may want to or you may want to but you can't there are moments where you only have this much left i've done that so many times only having a little bit left and pouring it out still because I felt like I had to. When nobody said I had to, because how can I give you my best if I can't give myself my best, if I don't believe in myself, if I haven't been feeding myself and giving myself the rest, the mental health breaks, the nourishment, you know, that I need, you know what I'm saying? Um, and doing it without feeling guilty. I be feeling bad, because I'm like, why did I do that? Why did I buy something that I wanted something that I needed. Make it make sense. Like, what in the world is wrong with you? Like, why do you feel that way? I really had to dig deep, y'all. Like, I had to really dig deep onto like why I felt like I didn't deserve nice things. And I know I deserve nice things. I know that, okay? One of the things is like, you don't think that you're important enough to yourself. Ain't that crazy that we think things like that about ourselves? We think other people are so important and like we value them, but we don't value the gem in ourselves. I was going to bed, getting ready to go to bed the other night, and I was thinking about getting some more work done because I was up. 
And I was like, well, since I'm up, might as well do it. But I felt this tug that was like, no, this is you time. This is the mirror time. This is me time. Respect that. Ain't that a word right there, y'all? Respect that. Respect yourself enough to know that you deserve a break just like everybody else. You deserve to rest just like everybody else. And y'all, what it really comes down to, what I had to learn is stop mistaking your free time for availability. Just because you have free time does not mean that you're available. Stop making yourself available to everything just because you have the time. Stop. Respect yourself. Place boundaries. And that's what we lack for real, y'all. Boundaries with ourselves, with people. Because if you don't put a boundary with yourself, people just going to shoot across that. And then boom, you know, you going to boom, shoot across that. You know, because I'm a testament. I've done it plenty of times. But in this season, y'all, oh, no, 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 no. Reclaiming my time. Make a commitment to yourself. Make a commitment to feed back into yourself, to love yourself. Take yourself out on some dates, y'all. Like, you deserve it. And if nobody's ever told you that, allow me to be the first one. You deserve it. You deserve to go on that walk by yourself. You deserve to take that check that just got deposited in your bank account to go and treat yourself to some seafood, to some Italian, wherever you wanna go and enjoy yourself and turn off the world. You deserve that. Schedule your me time, it's essential. I put on my Instagram that self-care is not a luxury, it's a necessity. When you start treating self-care as if it's like some type of like once in a lifetime opportunity, no, this thing should be in our daily schedule. We should always schedule time for us. I remember last year I was in my planner and I was trying to figure out like, you know, what, um, you know, just like all the dates that I needed to put in there. And one thing that dropped in my spirit was like, but what about you? What about your mental health? Cause I didn't schedule any time for me. I didn't schedule any time for my mental health. And that was nobody but God, because to God, that's important. In the word, it talks about how he desires to give us rest. God wants us to rest. He doesn't want us to be up all night. You know, he wants us to feed back into ourselves. Like even in the Bible, Jesus had self-care. He would separate himself from the crowd. Jesus would rest. You know what I'm saying? Like these are things that were already put in the book, in the word before any of us was ever here. And here we go, ruining it. I mean, just bombarding everything, okay? Y'all, this cheese quesadilla is so good. I mean, chicken quesadilla. This chicken quesadilla is so good. Hmm. I learned that there are three types of self-care, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's mental, physical, spiritual. It, it may be a fourth one. It may be emotional. Um... So physical, of course, the one we all know, exercising. And it may not be necessarily like getting up to exercise. Maybe for you, it could just be getting up to move, you know, just moving around. Um, going for a walk, a casual walk. You know, maybe like just talk, clear your mind, listen to some music, um, pray, talk to God. Those are things I do when I'm on a walk. Um, other ways for physical self-care, um, maybe start taking some vitamins. You know, maybe like you have been lacking on your vitamins. Maybe you wanna start doing things like that. Um, drinking water, like we need these things to stay healthy. For mental self-care, you know, that could just be like saying no. Maybe you're a person who always says yes or you mistaken your free time for availability. So say no. This time, say no and say it with your chest, okay? Your entire chest. Say it, okay? No. Ain't no means no. And if they cross your boundary, check them off the list and tell them that Zamir told you. And I did. And that's what I'm going to tell them. Um, another form could be maybe like getting off of social media. These are things that also just really help your mental. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie to y'all, being on my phone for too, too long, 
it does kind of weigh down on my mental. So I do have to take breaks. Uh, maybe using those like sleep focus or those like focus settings on your iPhone really would help. For emotional, I believe um, it's like talking to a friend, um, going out, you know, spending time with your loved ones, maybe talking to a therapist. These are things that really help you, you know, with your emotional um, well-being. And then spiritual is like, praying, meditating, you know, things of that sort. It's time to stop treating self-care like a luxury and we need to start treating it more like a necessity. To all of my girls and my guys who work, um, you know, or who just maybe like, you know, got blessed with some money, use some of that money for yourself. It's time for us to start seeing the value in ourselves. We gotta stop pushing, putting ourselves on the back burner. Like, if you want nice clothes, go on Shein and use my code and get you some clothes, okay? Like do it because you deserve it, because you deserve to feel beautiful. You deserve to feel like the king that you are, the queen that you are. You deserve to have nice things. You were created, on, you were created to be on this earth, to inherit the things of God, okay? And my God, listen, he owned everything. And the things that he owns is beautiful. And so everything that I have, it gotta be beautiful. It gotta be a uh, tip top shape. I mean, psh, fireworks, yada, 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 yada. Whatever you wanna call it. I don't even know what that was, but like, yes, because you deserve it. So yeah, y'all, like, I really just want y'all to know, like your self care, it matters. It really matters and be intentional with it. My junior year of college, I would um, schedule the times of when I would do homework, but I would give myself like two hours before then to just do whatever I wanted. And that was like my form of self-care. And most times I was just eating and chilling, but that was great. It was great to me. It was a woosaw, it was relaxing, and I loved it. However, y'all, like we have to prioritize that because one thing I learned that I didn't know about y'all was that for so long, I've been overstimulated. And I don't know if you guys know what overstimulating, what overstimulation is, but what I learned is like, basically it's when your brain, um, you know what, let's look it up. Let's look it up because I don't want to give y'all the wrong definition, but y'all, I learned this and it truly made so much sense to me. And coming to find out, I'm like, wow. I've been dealing with overstimulation. Overstimulation or sensory overload is when your senses are just completely overloaded with information, making it difficult or sometimes near impossible to fully process the information you are receiving. This type of overstimulation is often seen in what we call highly sensitive people or HSP for short. Highly sensitive people tend to know a lot about overstimulation. We need some time alone in our own private spaces in order to recharge, process and collect ourselves after a stressful period or overstimulation. So this goes to show y'all self-care is important because overstimulation is nothing to play with. Um, especially for me being a college student, y'all, there's so much that you deal with on a, just a, in a day with deadlines, with papers. And then if you are part of organizations, you have that to tend to. And then, you know, you have friends, you have family. And sometimes, you know, they have things that they want to speak with you about. And sometimes it's just way too, too, too much going on. And it's like, you're processing too much in your head and it's making it like so overwhelming for you because it's like, you're feeling so many different things. And sometimes you're feeling them all at once because you're trying to think about everything all at once and you're just making it more stressful on yourself. That's why saying no goes beyond somebody asking you, can they talk to you or are you free? So I'm just telling you like saying no goes beyond that. And like, I'm gonna touch on it a little bit. Saying no is also good for you. I don't think it's for us to really know everybody's business. Not saying that like you're being nosy or you know you're looking for it, but even when it pertains to um, that, you know, being nosy, trying to know the tea, but also when it comes to like somebody going through something, they want to confide in you, like it may not always be the brightest idea for you to know because like our brains aren't that big to have all this information in our mind. And if you're already dealing with stuff, you don't need your stuff and what they got going on in your mind, on your mental. It's just too, too much. 
So I really think y'all, like not only does God wants us to mind our business because we're supposed to mind our business, but we're also supposed to mind our business because of the fact that it's not for us to handle all this information. It's stressful. It's nerve wracking. It causes anxiety. It makes you worried. It's overstimulation period point blank it's not for us y'all it like we're human at the end of the day and our human minds can't handle all this stuff okay for me I'm trying to remember why Susie may ain't talked to jackie and you know gina i don't need that right now that's too much okay like it got nothing to do with me. I'm going to leave it where it's at, okay? Because I don't need that coming into my mental space, coming into my, you know, it, it just don't need to be over here, okay? It's too much. We're going through too much in the world. We're going through inflation and the pandemic, okay? It's not for us to have all of that. So stop. Start saying no. If you're a person that really likes to know the tea, and it's okay because we've all been there, but... If you're a person who likes to know the tea, likes to know the latest news, maybe this is your sign and maybe this is a no for you to start saying no, to start putting in your headphones, to start saying, mm, I don't wanna talk about it. Or can you just, I, I, you know, it's best to not tell me that because honestly, I'm really trying to work on me and my mental health and I really just can't, I just don't have the mental capacity for that. Y'all, it's okay to say that you don't have the, the mental capacity for something. And this goes beyond saying no. It's okay if somebody asks you like, hey, you know, I just really need a friend. I need somebody to talk to. It's okay to say, I, you know, as much as I would love to, I don't have the mental capacity. And that's putting you first. And I know it hurts. It's going to sting. It's going to feel weird, awkward. I was there. I have been there. When you put yourself first, it takes um, comfortability. But what's more important, you and getting the help that you need and bettering yourself to the woman or the man that you are supposed to be or sacrificing your peace for the sanity of others. Choose your peace or somebody else's sanity. And I know there will be times where it may not always be that way. However, you know when you come first. You know when you're not having a good day. You know when your mental is not at its best. So let's be real. We got to feed into ourselves, y'all. This year, we got to take it back. We have to. It's too much going on in the world to not treat ourselves like the kings and queens that we are. I want you to go on Pinterest. Because that's what I did. Okay? Go on Pinterest. Start thinking of some ways that you can self-care. That may be journaling. That may be getting 10 minutes of quiet time in the morning. When you wake up, just you time. Maybe, you know, while you're at work for your lunch break, instead of going to the lounge and talking with your coworkers, maybe, you know, you want to go to your car and eat or go to the restaurant that you've always wanted to go to or that you regularly go to and sit and just enjoy yourself. Start going on a solo date. Like, these are ways that you guys can self-care. Um, one thing for me I love a good solo day, y'all. I love it. Okay, just going out. Okay, so after all this preaching and everything I done did, um, let's talk about ways that I like to self-care. So for me, first and foremost, if you know me, you know that I love face masks. I love skincare. Um, I just love to make myself feel good. I love to smell good. And in fact, y'all, I went to Bath & Body Works and bought myself a new perfume and y'all, I told my friend today, I said, this smells like warm vanilla sugar just turned 21, okay? Listen, if you're like me and you like, you know, warm scents, that vanilla, fuzzy, just scrumdily umptious, just came out of a bakery type of person. Listen, we are now friends, okay? Period, period, XOXO, you already know what is good. Go and get you this scent, it's called Midnight Amber Glow, and y'all, I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. Y'all, it smells so good. Okay, like. <sighs> okay, so it has smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. Sophisticated, smooth, and a little bit of sweet, this fragrance leaves a trace of mystery that keeps you wanting more. And baby, I'm telling you, this scent, if you got a man, 
he gonna want to take you out on a date when you put this on, okay? So, babe, if you're watching this, a date is tomorrow, okay? And I already got an outfit that's in my closet that I'm waiting for you to take me out in. So, um, go ahead and schedule that date for me and uh, let me know and we'll go ahead and, you know, have us a great time. Amen? Um, yeah. So, also to my fellas, if you want your girl smelling good for the fall season, go and get her this, okay? I mean, get her the full set, okay? Because I'm telling you, you ain't going to ever want to stop smelling her, okay? And then you're going to want to take her out. And you just watch. Watch how her whole mood changes. I mean, she's going to be feeling all good. And then she smell good. And y'all know, when you smell good, you just feel good, okay? So, yes. Also, I made a purchase from my sis, Dania, okay? She has a body care line, and I purchased her sweet coconut scent. It is a whipped body butter. But y'all, y'all need to go ahead and get y'all some, okay? Go follow her. I'm gonna put her IG handle probably right here, right here, right here, right here. One of them. Um, but let me just let me just show y'all how this thing literally melts, okay? She is also a black-owned business, and she is a woman of God, so you already know the body butter is blessed, okay? So go ahead and get you some and be blessed while smelling good, okay? So here, let me just go ahead and do a little swatch for y'all, okay? So you got it on there. But y'all see how quick, y'all see how quick that thing just, hold on, let me, let, let me move, let me move up because I don't think y'all see it. Listen, because I'm a little ashy on my hand. Okay, y'all see that? And then, I mean, just dissolves into the skin. I mean, come on, $12. Go get at her, okay? Because listen, it will surely bless your life. So those are things I like to do. I love to, you know, purchase self-care items, I call them, which are like fragrances, lotions, face masks, things of that sort. Um, I love to go out to eat, okay? I love to eat, y'all. I love, you know, taking myself out on a solo date. Like, it's like a treat, cause you know, I don't do it often. So just treating myself to a meal and just really enjoying it, like, I love that. I love to just kind of like have moments of silence. I love to journal, you know, get my thoughts out there. Journaling, I feel like really, really helps a lot. I don't journal as much as I used to or as much as I would like to, but it is definitely relieving. Like, I think you guys should do it. Um, I enjoy walking. Like, I love the nature. I don't do it enough, but I love looking at nature. So just taking a walk sometimes really does it for me. Um, I love to say no. Like, now that I'm really growing, I'm loving to say no. Like, just knowing that I am priority and that I matter, saying no really has helped me kind of, like, break that tie of feeling obligated to do things that I, you know, was never obligated to do or sticking up for myself. Because y'all, at the end of the day, if you ain't gonna stick up for yourself, who else gonna do it? So somebody gotta do it, you know? But I also love to treat myself to clothes. I like to spend a little money, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. Girl, I like to spend money, okay? Yeah, those are just a couple of things I love to do. Um, you know, talking to God, of course, is an amazing self-care thing for me. Just telling him how I really feel. I mean, not just know like, oh, God, like, no, it, God, let me tell you what happened because this thing really blew me and I need you to know. Whoo, child, I be having some things to say. And so it's a relationship. So I be having to tell God all of my business and how I really feel. He really prefers that over me being like, oh, well, God, my day wasn't that bad. Like, no, God, my day was bad. I don't think I had a good day. And I want you to know that, okay? Because such a such person did this, like that's what, that's me, okay? And I hope, you know, with this talk that you see the value in you because truly you don't want to be overstimulated and it's best to get a handle on it now. It's never too late. It doesn't matter how old you are. It's never too late to start choosing you, okay? Because since choosing me, y'all, I've been feeling so much better. I've been feeling lighter. It's, it's great. It's just really great. So, you know, I hope this video really 
helped any of you guys out there. I know this was more just kind of like a chill type of thing, but this was really on my heart to talk about. I know guys, I haven't been the most consistent, but I'm definitely trying. Please, please, please bear with me. But I still love you guys and I hope you guys still love me. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Remember, your self-care is important. Figure out some ways that you can incorporate self-care into your schedule because you deserve it and you owe it to yourself. So I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Go be great. Choose you. Say no. Go and get you that food. Go and get you that Amber Night fragrance. Did I say it right? Amber Glow fragrance, okay? And just live life. Enjoy it because you're here for a reason. I love you. God loves you. World, you already know what it is. Until next time. Mwah!